Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Monday, November 13th. The Larry Shades here. I want to speak about the girl who took her own life. Her name was Brittany. She was 29 years old. I mean, here's a girl that two years ago felt great. She was happy. She got married. Uh, she used to go mountain climbing. I heard she was very active and uh, a loving girl and loved by many. Um, she was an attractive girl. I saw some pictures of her earlier. She had nice eyes. She was in good shape. But we all know that cancer, any type of cancer, can come to anyone at any time. Here's a girl that got diagnosed out of nowhere with brain cancer. I believe it was this year in January. And now, 11, 11 months later, she's gone. Because cancer can happen to any one of us at any time. And not just cancer, tragedies. A car accident, a plane crash, or any type of death or any type of sickness can happen to any one of us. And this is why I always tell people to enjoy your life to the fullest while you have it and while you have your health. And don't complain and worry about silly things and nonsense. And people just do that every day. They lose track. And I think one way not to lose track is to maybe write yourself a note and read it every morning. And, and, and we'll look at things that are happening every day around us, around the world. I mean, this girl uh, wanted to live until she got sick, of course. Then she decided to take a life. Now, I'm not going to agree and disagree with what she did or tell people what she should do. I personally wouldn't want to do it. I would not do it. I wouldn't want my children to do it. I mean, I had a rare and deadly cancer, but not as deadly as hers. Hers was worse than mine. She was, I guess, supposedly in the final stages, but I would never give up, and I wouldn't want any of my friends, family, my children to ever give up till the end. She took her own life, and uh, she didn't believe that a miracle could happen overnight. I do believe that a miracle could happen every night. I know miracles are done every day when a baby is born out of a woman. Here was a woman and also a birth life comes out of a person. To me, that's a miracle. That's the miracle we see every day that God left us to see with our own eyes. Because some people need a miracle to believe things. That's my miracle when I see a baby born. But again, I would tell people that I know to always keep hope. Because once you lose hope in any area, we become hopeless. Whether it's with your health or with school or with a job and your marriage or, or your children. Never lose hope. Keep hope alive in us. Keep hope alive with our family. Keep hope. Keep praying. And remember that anything could happen to any one of us at any time. Now, today's Monday. Uh, we have a choice. We have free will, right? We can uh, take today and complain. I can't believe it. Back to school, black to, uh, back to work, blah, 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 whatever. But we could say, you know what? Look at this poor child, this poor girl. She's dead. And, and we're here. We have our health. We have our life. We have our family. We have our friends. Maybe we don't have a lot of friends. Maybe a few. They say if you have one good friend, you're blessed. I mean, you know, everyone has people around them that probably care about them and more than they even know. But, uh, you know, you got to spend time with the ones you love. You really should spend time with the ones you love and do what you feel is something inside you makes you feel good, helping people. Like this girl helped the orphans. Maybe we need to help the poor, help the sick, help the widows, you know what I'm saying? And uh, do more to help people that truly need it, not the lazy people, the ones that truly need it. There's a difference between handouts to lazy people and helping people who truly need it. And, uh, you know, we have to do our best to decide what's what, of course, in that situation. But anyway... Enjoy your day. Today's a beautiful day. I mean, every day's a beautiful day. Life is beautiful, but can be very sad at times, I understand. So um, don't complain. Be thankful. If this girl could talk to us from the cemetery, she'd say, please stop complaining. Please enjoy your life. Please enjoy your family. Please be thankful for a job. Or please go look for a job. We'll be thankful for your health. And, you know, there's simple things in life. So I love you all. Stay hopeful. Don't lose hope. Keep praying for whatever you need and be thankful for what you have. I love you all. Thank you, and how you doing?